So he's not here. He's got a lot of chests though. And you know, since I'm not getting paid for this, since I was sent on a false mission, that is my reward, I guess. And whatever these guys dropped. Let's get out of here. It's a little bit creepy. never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of even more mages. You can speak to me directly. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. You harbor a viper in your midst. It will turn on you and strike when you least expect. That is in its nature. My sister is stronger than you think. You tell him, brother. I'm not blind. I know magic has its uses, and there are undoubtedly mages with good intentions. But even the best-intentioned mage can fall prey to temptation. And then, their power is a curse to inflict upon others. No one's stopping you from moving on, you know. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Denarius, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Denarius required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Perhaps you can find a way to pay him back. I will pay him back, in blood. You have no idea what he's done to me, what I went through just to get away. I was only trying to help you. That was unworthy of me. The truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Denarius's choice, one he now regrets. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Denarius wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. That's who I want though. I want Fenrir in the party, these guys. Be a pretty big help. Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. 
Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo. They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone too. Castile won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Castillon isn't a very happy person, is he? Maybe he needs a new hobby. There's only one way to settle this. Ouch. better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. Simple as that. If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. always trying to claim the streets. If you make them safe to travel at night, someone will reward you. Let's see what else we can do around here.
end it here. I'll see you next time. We'll start talking to these guys for new missions or whatever. See you then.